spend contingency money, raise your hand. Deny spending contingency money. Which means you can't spend it. You can't you spend can't it. Spend. Okay, then I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> One, Representative Scalier. Two, Umberger. Fleck, three. Patton, four. Algren, five. Knox, six. Six. Yes. <laughs> so that's good. All those against the motion, raise your hand. One, two, three, One, two, four. Three, Representative four, Merrill, six, seven, Schmidt, Treganza, and oh, Babson. God. Okay. Now, what I would like yeah. is a motion to authorize the commissioners to buy the truck. I'll move it. Second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Representative Babson made the motion to buy the truck. Representative Knox seconded it. You find the money. All those in favor, everyone in favor of buying the truck. Can we have some Representative Algren, go ahead and talk. For discussion? Okay, so. So, if I might clarify, Madam Chair, that you are essentially authorizing the commissioners to buy the truck and to get the money from wherever they wish. Not, not contingency. But not, not contingency money. Yeah. That, that was denied. So they would have to get the money from the current operating budget. Right. I just want to try to clarify your motion. Is that that is where they would Representative get Representative Babson, is that what you want? It's yes. from the current? Yes, out of the current from budget. From the current budget. Buy the truck out of the current budget. And that, and if I may also, that that would mean that if the commissioners deem it's more feasible to just make a payment and pay it on time, they would decide to do that. But if they can find the money and wish to pay for it all up front, that they could do that as well. They're offered both opportunities. They're not limited to how they could buy the truck. They are authorized to They're authorized to buy the truck. Okay. Buy the truck. I'm sorry, I just wanted to, I thought those were a couple points that weren't clear along the way. I just wanted to make sure that that's where we were at. So Does everybody understand where we are? Sure. Move the question. Okay. All those in favor of moving the question, say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. All those in favor of the motion to authorize the commissioners to buy the truck out of the current budget, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 You can buy the truck. Will you buy the truck? Okay. No. Right. Now, let's go to and see if we can. Yes, Representative Umberger. Yes, let's go into convention. There's a motion by Representative Umberger to go into convention. To Second by Representative Fleck. All those in favor of going into convention, say aye. 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 Those opposed, we're in convention. Um, there's a motion by Representative Umberger, second by Representative Fleck, to ratify the decision we just made about authorizing the commission to buy the truck. Well, we've got to do the other two also. We've got to do the reconsideration. Yeah. I don't think we need to. We don't need to do that. Let's no. Okay. Then I will move to ratify buying the truck. Ratify buying the truck. I'll second it. Okay. Second by Representative Babson. All those in favor of ratifying the decision to buy the vote to buy the truck out of current budget say aye. 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 Those opposed? Okay, we've got that. We're okay. Um, Representative Umberger moves to come out of convention yes. with a second by Representative Fleck. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're out of convention. Okay. And Janice, I'll let, let you understand that eventually. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, I know that I'm going to lose Harry at about 12.30, I think, uh, rep I mean, Representative Merrill, Representative Scalia may have to leave just about now. Um, is it just about 12? No, I can go about 12.30 too. Okay, let's see if we can get through our expenditures, okay? Everybody here will look at the expenditures on both page account by account. Commissioners are at 76%. Any questions? Okay, the treasurer is at 59%. Is that right? 
That's the bottom of yeah. <coughs> the special services is at 23%. Questions, human resources at 64%. Any questions? Waterworks at 58%. Any questions? Uh, attorney um, at 69%. Yes, Representative Algren. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, as Mayor Paul, I was the chairman of that department, and I just wanted to point out to the commissioners that under civil commitment, we appropriated $25,000 for that civil commitment, uh, but we, uh, because, but the expense about? of that is not as great as we might have anticipated. It was a special appropriation, mm -hmm. so that you may want to discuss with, um, uh, attorney uh, doers that if you know how much of that money might be available to use toward the purchase of the truck because I do believe there's probably you know a good sum of mo good sum of that money which is still going to be available from my okay. understanding but may not but okay. I just want to point out point that out thank you thank you attorney is at 69 percent any question just one. yes uh, where do we stand on taking additional money out of that to support a new Higher. Wasn't there a discussion last time about uh, raising the salary so that we might get a, a new hire taken care of? Uh, it wouldn't. It certainly I'd have wouldn't, to go uh, back and look at the minutes. Yes, we yeah. did. Yeah. Was, we did. It was about six or eight thousand. Okay, so we shouldn't like. wipe that out. Then we should still have a fairly sizable amount yeah. from, uh, from the civil commitment. That's the one I was concerned about. Yeah. Okay. We have them on that. We have the civil commitment, and then we also have the hire. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, victim witness. We're at 69%. Any questions? Okay, registry of deeds. The money maker. Thank you very much. Money maker at 69%. Uh, sheriff's department at 65%. Any questions? Representative on Batson. Thank you, Madam Chairman. On the dispatch and the, and the uh, sheriff's um, percentage. Um, two or three or four weeks ago at the uh, county commissioners meeting there was a discussion between Kathy and the sheriff about <coughs> getting um, uh, expenses and revenues recorded and um, I want to know if the reason the sheriff's department is so low is it because of great management or is it because some of the expenses haven't been recorded. This is supposed to be through November 8th. September 30th. Well, it's September 30th. This is through September 30th. This is third quarter. Well, mine says 11 8 2011. That's when it was printed. That's when it was printed, David. But if oh, okay. You look under the I see. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so it is through three quarters of the year. Mm -hmm. That still makes them uh, pretty light. On expenses, Do we have and that? is that because of accounting problems, or is that a really an accurate figure? That's accurate. Okay, it's, it's up accurate. To date. I, I would just bring up one point under the sheriff's budget and under dispatch. If you look at advertising, mm -hmm. um, what the sheriff has done is he's gone um, New England wide rather than New Hampshire. Uh, he's gone bigger than the area that we normally advertise in. And that costs us a lot more money. Just to make that point. We do hope that he doesn't overspend his budget. Okay. Well, uh, it, yes, no, Representative Babson. Well, if that figure, if that's an exi a, a larger, much larger figure, which it obviously is, if you were to take that out, he'd still be way lower now than uh, mm -hmm. and then what's been yep. passed and spent. spent yes, the past. Representative Umber. Right. Um, Kathy and the sheriff were, I don't know if they've gotten together, but they were in the process of setting down to make sure that the sheriff's department, I mean, we had this huge meeting. We have talked. Uh, and that hopefully we have all of that straightened out, and it, um, it's, it's probably a, a, a situation where the sheriff didn't necessarily realize the impact of what he was doing and um, and then when revenue would come in we didn't necessarily get the revenue placed in the appropriate place either but I think 
that that's been straightened out and that there should not be any more head knocking between the business office and the sheriff over where expenditures come from and where revenues go. I just want to say there really was no head knocking between us. You know, it was just the, it's the learning curve mm -hmm. for, you know, um, mm -hmm. the changes mm -hmm. in that department. So. Okay. We, we had we certainly had some finger pointing and we didn't have head knocking. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I, I, I like to apologize. It was at uh, Commission uh, Representative Umberger's sheriff's meeting that not and not at the county commission. Okay. Any further question? Any further input on the sheriff's and the dispatch? I assume all of you got a copy of the letter the town of sent to everyone. Yeah. We'll talk about it eventually. Um, medical referee is at forty percent. Any questions on that? Administration building, we are at 67 percent. We will be going over on the fuel cost for heat. Okay. Let's see. The fuel cost is at 16. We're at, no, am I right? 16,000. 16. Fuel is at 16, and, and you've got... We're already over. Oh, okay. All right. So and that was as of September 30th. All right. But overall, we're at 67%. Okay. Human Services Department, we are at 77%. Just a quick note yeah. on that one. Um, next year's budget is going to be up 700000 in DEAS, which is controlled by the state. A big, big figure. That's going to be for 2012? Yep. <coughs> okay. Not really okay, but that's okay. Maintenance. Maintenance is at 69%. Sewer system is at 56%. Uh, jail, house and, uh, jail and health of corrections is at 68%. I'd like to also make a note there that if you look at overtime, we're overspent. We've had some sickness and some leave time, um, and we've had to hire additional staff, and that's why it's overtime. Okay. You had to hire extra staff? We had three people out. Sick. Uh, one out for a baby, and the other two were sick. Okay, and so then we bring in... Yeah, I have to bring in people to fill those posts. Okay, all right. Extra duties. Okay. It wasn't so much that you hired new people. No, we didn't hire we anybody new yet. covered them. Okay. All right. Any further questions on the um, jail and house of correction? At 68%. Farm is at 65 but by the time the day is over, it's a little more. Corporate extension is at 75%. Uh, interest expense at 87 That's Is that good or is that bad? Yeah, yeah, because all the big stuff is hit the budget. Okay, so that's okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, the last one will be the can. All right. Then the long-term debt is at 99 so that's what we've been... That's okay, too. Yeah. Regional appropriations... Um, Let's see, Carroll County Transit is at zero. Child Advocacy at 75. Home Health Care at 75. RSVP at 74. Conservation District at 75. Capital Reserves, zero. The Convention, we're at 53%. Capital Expenditures, we're at 49%. And overall, for the general fund, we're at 75 as of September 30th, 2011. Okay, nursing home. We go now. Yes, go ahead. Did I miss? Uh, this is back on long-term debt. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't see the interest that was Okay. That's what I was looking for. 99? Yeah. Yeah, 90. 90. Okay. 
All right, let's go to the Enterprise Fund and the Nursing Home. Nursing Home Administration at 82%. 